starting five, they have a nice mix of experience. Deloney, they really lean on for leadership. Fiorillo as well. And then for Duke, they've got the senior in Roach. And then underclassmen, McCain, Proctor, Mitchell, and Filipowski. This Duke team didn't end the season on the best note. That's why there are some concerns heading into the NCAA tournament. Michael Irving, Rob Riley, Steve McJunkins, our officiating crew here tonight. So Duke, a 74-69 loss to NC State in the ACC quarterfinals. At the time, it felt like a tough loss, and now we've seen what the Wolfpack have done. And you won a championship after losing in the first round, if I'm not mistaken. I, I, well, we got to a championship game oh, uh, senior year against Arkansas. Meanwhile, Vermont got past UMass Lowell in the America East title game, 66 to 61. Shot just 36 percent in that game. They're making their 10th appearance in the NCAA tournament. Lost in the first round to Marquette last season, 78 to 61 as a 15 seed. Filipowski jumping it up with Io Folia, and we've got a redo. It's the fourth all-time meeting between these two schools. Duke is 3-0 and against Vermont. And the Catamounts control the tempo. And Eagle right, Eagle right now. Duke goes a little bit of it. Pick and pop. They're very good at it. They can make threes. They're going to make a game of it. Io Folia knocks it in from the outside. How about this kid? Confidence is 19th of the year. Raising the big from underneath. I think for Duke, you got to go inside to Filipowski, establish him early where he does so much damage in the paint. Flipper, McCain gets the roll. And that's the thing with watching them, Grant, when they penetrate, these guards are devastating. Find people or finish. We got three guys, three guys on the perimeter for Duke who have that ability to create off the bounce. Shamir Bogues, interesting skill set, transfer from Tarleton State. With Knock away, no call. They're letting them play. Fiorillo. They can shoot it. Swing it. Long, Long Island native. Get it inside. Fiorillo. It's locked. Filipowski erases it. And Roach really smart. Not fouling, having a big behind him. Shake and bake. Roach is fouled on his way to the rim. It was Deloney in between him and the basket. And Raph, a couple years ago, that's what we saw from Roach, his ability to create off the bounce. But talk about weak side defense right there. Filipowski seeing that Roach was undermanned down there coming over to help and a fantastic block. Let's not forget the run that Jeremy Roach went on in the final four year. Roach showed you what he was capable of. McDonald's All-American. It didn't happen right away at Duke, but there's leadership abilities. He's been more vocal recognizing that the team has needed it. And, and I thought up until then he was really more of a spot up shooter relying on knocking down jump shots. But during that tournament run that you alluded to really got adept at getting up to the basket off the bounce and in some big moments creating plays down the stretch. The Tyrese Proctor there's some blood there that they're trying to deal with. The athletic trainer Jose Fonseca. He's trying to work through the issues with Proctor. At the line is Roach, Leesburg, Virginia native. Shoots it at 86%. Everything appears to be okay with Proctor. And Roach, this is his time of year, I think. He does excel come tournament time. Plays fast, confident. He's grown into this role over the course of his career at Duke. Misses on the second attempt, and it's rebounded by Shamir Bogues, who averages nearly five and a half boards per game and then brings the ball up and they are so fundamentally sound this club take the shooter do all the right things Bogues against Roach curl spin reflected Filipowski creates a turnover McCain on the push early offense and look at that double right away got to find somebody's got to cut to the rim Filipowski loses it and he coughs it away everybody stayed distant Deloney gets it ahead for Bogues Bogues, lefty Swiss Army knife for this Vermont squad under John Becker in his 12th year as head coach. Seven-time America East Coach of the Year. Reset, Deloney, nine to shoot. He has not been able to turn the corner. Deloney lines it up. Short, rebounded by Filipowski. He can hit that shot, big-time shooter. They got to make a lot of three-pointers for a month. I think, Raph, that's a little chance. Got to challenge him. 33, I believe he's had for the year. 
Duke has won seven straight first round games going back to 2015. And check that 54 for the year. The drive by Mitchell. Oh, spin and he draws the foul on Fiorillo. To me, this is the stud on the team. He, Aggressive. He's, he's the X Factor. Yeah, unbelievable. And look at this. Everybody, nobody's cutting to that rim. One guy goes in here, you got him, or you go kick it opposite for a nice easy look. Instead, cough it up. When we talked to John Shire, we asked him about the last week and change after the NC State loss. He said, yeah, a little more practice time than we expected. Didn't felt feel like his team played well against North Carolina. That was the big loss at the end of the regular season and the carryover into the ACC tournament. But he said, he told his team, you got to go through some stuff sometimes to get to where you want to be. And he believes they still can get to where they want to be. A lot of the great players called in support. Uh, did you have to call in? Yes. <laughs> did you leave a voicemail? Hey, what hey, did you do? Raph, I just want you to know Coach K is listening <laughs> at home, so be on good behavior. That is, I'll tell you what, I miss him at this time of year. Iofalia forced to give it up. Bogues to the corner. The jumper from Long is too strong. 4-3 lead for Duke early. They've simplified things. A little ball screen, a little blur early. McCain steps through oh, and he scoops it home. And he's so talented. I think sometimes settles for three-pointers, but when he goes downhill, his size and his skill cannot be denied. McDonald's All-America from Sacramento, California. The freshman averaging 13.4 points per game and a 6-3 advantage for Duke. Bogues comes to the ball, tries it on Filipowski, and the ball ricochets to Deloney for the bucket. Uh, pretty alert. Thus far, the Duke's done a decent job containing bounce, though. Filipowski wants it. This will create a decision. You want to help out on the bully ball, you're going to get an open look. Off the double team, ball movement leads to the Proctor jumper. Missed it. And stepping in, Fiorillo for the board. That's good basketball, though. Having a catch, Deloney and Bogues. Line it up, knock it down. Aaron Deloney, native of Portland, Oregon, with a deep shot. 33% too, he can drill him. And for Duke right there, you can't afford to have him come off open like that on that screen and roll. That drop coverage may not work against Deloney. And the early eye test, Vermont's confident. Assertive very here. Much, very much so. In the first four minutes. Because their success would breed that. Roach got a three. Nice pump and a bite. 9 8 Duke. Over 1,000 career points for Jeremy Roach. And I think if you're Vermont, you put Filipowski in screen and roll. He's going to play that drop coverage. Mm -hmm. He can get an easy look. Handoff. Ball slicing to the rim for two. How about that? He turned it up a notch. Shamir Bogues from Colleen, Texas. Inside, in and out for Mitchell, but he is fouled on the play. Free throws coming up for the sophomore from Kansas City. 10-9 for Vaughn has the lead early in the rookie. Jamie, this has not been a good couple of days for the SEC. One and five thus far. Tennessee got the win. UConn rolled over Stetson. And the ACC, unblemished right now. North Carolina, Clemson, NC State all advancing. Mark Mitchell, 63% shooter. Another McDonald's All-American scored 19 points in that All-America game. Physical, active. Constant energy for John Shire's squad. And, and struggled at the start of the season. I thought was maybe relying too much on shooting jump shots, but kind of has gotten comfortable in his new role at the power four position. As you said, has to be a factor for Duke. How about the preparation for that press by Vermont? Not to have court. A little double up, they can give it to who you want. Proctor gets it. Foul called. Alamuto in the game. For Vermont, watch live men's games on your computer, phone, tablet, streaming device with NCA March Madness Live. Download now to stay up to date on all the action. Also in Matt Veretto. He's got some range, too. He can make some threes. 
And I, you said it, this team's not afraid. Like they, they feel like they belong here against Duke, playing with great confidence. Deloney gets another good look, and it rims in. That kid can flat out shoot the balls. Had eight three-pointers this season in, in a game. And unafraid, great confidence, Deloney. And verbalizes, too, on the defensive end with his teammates. Seven points to lead all scores. Very poised, a leader of this squad. Oh. For the big time so flush. Pretty side, empty side, Bolski, nice roll. He is a different guy when he attacks, and so are they. So a quick five points now for Mark Mitchell, 13 12 Duke. Bogues sporting the goggles, drives in, in and out, rebounded by Mitchell. Some energy he's playing with right now. Get it up the floor quickly, catch and fire, Proctor. It's a three. And McKay with a nice look right away, acknowledges. Tyrese Proctor, the sophomore from Sydney, Australia, gives Duke a 16-12 advantage. Duke opens up five of six from the field. How about this match for the little guy? Deloney against the big Filipowski. He's going to fire. Too strong. Good defense there by Flip, not fouling. Get it ahead. Roach, cross. Good pass. Mitchell's there. Drives in and hammers it down. He ran the floor. The attack mode, of course, Filipowski, too, was at the rim. A different personality for this team when I think he plays like that. Duke going hard to the hole in this first half. They're on a 7-0 run, and they lead Vermont in Brooklyn. As the teams were heading to their respective benches, John Becker got teed up. Becker was sharing his opinion with Michael Irving. He wasn't talking football to Michael Irving. <laughs> no, no, I don't believe the NFL popped up in conversation. But I'm not exactly sure what he was upset about. I didn't see any potential missed calls or any plays. That drive you thought maybe at this end there was some contact. I didn't really see it. Maybe it's something earlier, but it's a good time to get it. Right. You know, just to let him know we're here to win this game. And he is a keeper. Three straight titles in American East. When we talked to John Becker, he said eight new players into the program. So, yes, it's a three-peat, but it's been three very different teams, so different iterations. This year's been a little unique, but uh, really likes this group, how they've locked in defensively and taken on the tenets of the program. And not the best shooting Vermont team under Baker, or Becker, excuse me, but they... they they are more than capable, and they're going to have to make threes and shoot them with confidence here in this game. Bogues gives it up. It's an 8-0 run, largest lead for Duke. Iofolia back in. Alamuto, swing it. Bogues can't hit the three. And got away with it. Maybe a little overhelp by Proctor. Tardy closeout. Duke, meanwhile, is 15th in the country in three-point shooting. Number one in the ACC, just under 38%. See, I like this set here. Roach draws some attention. Well, they got the roll guy covered, and they got a, almost an open look in the corner. Filipowski trying to work through that double. McCain, ball movement leads to Proctor. They dribble drive, and it's blocked by Ohio Folia. Shot clock winding down. Mitchell, side rim, tracked down by Filipowski. Big time hustle. McCain ready, around the world and out. Rebounded by Long. Give it up, Deloney. This far it's been excellent. Duke defense, nice help. I look right here, Kulabeski fell asleep. They take advantage. Alamuto with a lay-in. Muscular redshirt sophomore from Ajax, Ontario. 1914, Duke. Same set. John Stewart getting ready to check in for the Blue Doubles. TJ Hurley for the Cowboys. Oh, Mitchell! This is not the same play or instant replay. Uh, a nice this. stagger, and he slipped. Gorgeous fine. And Vermont, look, they are a very good defensive team, but they're going to have to play better on that side of the ball. Right now, Duke shooting 63% from the field. The cut oh. by Deloney. They share it well. Lifting Filipowski, I think that's key for them in their attack. Nine points for Aaron Deloney, known as AD on this squad. Averages 11 per game. Roach 
Gonna get the three if he wanted. No pick and pop there for Filipowski. They'll drop it inside. They're riding Mitchell right now. And that's partially blocked by Alamuto. Good defense there. Last by Bogues. Deloney with confidence. In and out. Back tap. McCain. Quick pass. Roach on the lead feed. Roach has another gear and he's fouled. The attack mode, not afraid, huh? Roach right there, savvy, initiating contact. And of course, Mitchell once again doing damage inside. Duke's offense execution on point. Welcome back. And John, yesterday you told us the start was going to be key for your guys. What have you seen so far early on? Well, I've seen great effort from our guys. You know, they've uh, give them credit. They've hit some tough shots. I think we're doing a great job on offense, sharing it, attacking the basket. And uh, you, you have to guard for a long period down here. As soon as you let up for a second, they're going to make you pay with the cut or, or their movement. They're good. We just got to keep locking in down here. Appreciate it. Thanks. All right. Thanks, Tracy. All right. Tracy, thank you. With Coach Shire, it's always interesting how different coaches handle adversity. Lob it up. Stewart couldn't finish, and he goes down hard, and Stewart's going to head to the free throw line. Last point on Shire. When we asked him yesterday what they had been doing the last couple of weeks, he said, I wanted to give them a smaller menu, not a larger menu, and less actions, preaching togetherness. He likes where his defense is, and big key for him was, hey, get some paint touches early, get some inside scoring. They've done that with Mitchell. Taking advantage of the time off, basically. I wish we could have a better menu ourselves, you know, <laughs> with our expense account. Uh, you're friendly with this young man, right? Grew up near you, great pal of his dad's. Known Sean for quite some time. Very bouncy, almost that alley oop there. But I, I do like the idea of simplifying things at this time of year, particularly as you struggle going into the postseason like Duke has. Sean Stewart's dad, Michael, known as Yogi, played at Cal, played eight years in the NBA, Sacramento, Toronto, Cleveland, Boston, Atlanta. Little foul call. Right it's McCain picking it up. Hey, couch or courtside, refresh your fandom with a delicious Coke Zero Sugar. Is it the best Coke ever? Try and decide. We are going to get a change here. Jalen Blakes. No Caleb Foster. Foot injury. He is done for the season. It happened against Wake Forest. This is normally where Foster would step in and handle some of those duties. Back in. Iofolia on the fall away. It doesn't go. A nice collective rebounding. A young in the ball game now. Good footwork. A little post-up game. Is the transfer from Northwestern. Over a thousand points in his career. Yeah. Asking for it. Nice switch here. Young. Back in. Drop step and dropping to the floor. Saved there by Blakes. And then a knock away as Stewart lost it. TJ Hurley in for Vermont. Hurley gets it back. Good player this kid. Can shoot it, can put it on the deck, unselfish and a small change on Stewart yeah, and Hurley had a little ankle injury that limited him a bit in this conference tournament play but looked pretty good on that move right there and a little bit on he still has that brace on the bottom of the foot there he is from Pelham Ontario but attended the rock school down in Gainesville Florida got on the map of Vermont they just thought he would be a really good fit for the program a sophomore who was part of the Canadian under 19 squad and John saying they know about the program. nice slip look at the help defensively though really alert thus far by Duke and bodies colliding for Duke a foul was called yeah, but John Becker getting back to him was saying that uh, because of their success getting into the tournament people are calling them yes so they got a foul Tyrese Proctor is going to pick up his second. Filipowski is back in. That was a short stint for Young. Love it, and it's off the hand oh, of nice. Iofolia, and then a foul to compound it. Smart though. And then he, the he step the over dive. on Filipowski. He took the dive at the end just to get the referee's attention. That is number two on the junior from. Lebanon, Pennsylvania. And they had the mismatch on the out of bounds play. Just could not deliver the pass. And he said it best. Kyle showing a little drama. So Filipowski will head to the free throw line. Fiorillo is back in for Vermont. Filipowski shoots it at 66%. Grew up about two hours, 20 minutes from here in Westtown, New York. 
versatility. It's got those post moves, but a well-rounded game with very soft touch around the rim. And he can shoot the three, post up as you said, and very underrated passer as well. And last year played power forward when he was teamed up with Derek Lively. Now has moved over to the center position this year and still continued with his stellar play. First team all ACC, 17 points, eight rebounds, 1.6 blocks per game. Duke has shot 12 free throws. They've made eight of them. Vermont has yet to attempt a free throw. Spin, Alamuto. Good defense, Filipowski. He's moving those puppies. Shot clock is down to five. Rockamore is in. Rockamore makes his move, and it's an air ball. Good defense by Blakes. He's strong. Get into it quickly. Oh, got to catch it with two hands. Off the hand of Filipowski. Not a perfect pass, but you got to squeeze it. Turnover, Duke. Under nine minutes to go in this first half. Third turnover of the half for the Blue Devils. Vermont, that slow tempo, very patient. Look at this back. The reaction by Roach, and he gummed T.J. Long. And you got to feel that and lean forward, hold the man behind you a little bit. But this is just beautiful basketball, a little step and go. And you got to lean forward there and use that rim, if possible, on the other side. Well, just the other side, he had an easy one. Long, the junior from Rockville Center, New York, transferred from Fairfield. Lepowski, alert inside. 24-16. Shot clock is down to three. Lob it up, and there was a hole. Blakes. So Fiorillo couldn't break free because Blakes got in there for Duke, picking up his first foul. And great awareness by Vermont. No noticing the mismatch on the interior, trying to go inside. But how about Filipowski, the shot block in here? Three block shots here in this first half. Uh, he's going to have to play at this level if they're going to go far, I think. They're going to go long, four long. Plenty of time on the shot clock here for Vermont, trailing Duke by eight. But the scoring drought is now going to hit three minutes, no points. And they stretch your defense, too, with all these abilities to dribble drive. Out of that step back. Couldn't finish it. Mitchell is back in. Good defensive stand there from Duke. So it's Roach Filipowski in there along with McCain, Mitchell, and Blakes. Mitchell, another drive to the rim, ball fake, hey. and slam. Oh, I thought he might have dragged oh, his pivot foot a little bit right there, but that short roll right there, they got to ride that. They really do. Filipowski got out of the lane, too, just to take away the defensive threat. 11 points for Mark Mitchell to lead all scores. 10-point lead for Duke. Rockamore transferred from San Diego. Nice Deflected, but there was action on the inside. Roach was using his body on Fiorillo. Another foul on Duke. 10-point advantage for the Blue Devils. Coach, Duke shooting 62% right now defensively. What do you need to get back to doing? I mean, yeah, we've been great defensively all year. We've come out and, and not played very well defensively. Credit to Duke. They got a lot of great options. Um, you know, we're in foul trouble in our front court already. So, you know, we've just got to uh, clean up our coverages. We're switching there, and we, and we don't execute the switch. Leads to a dunk. So just having some mental breakdowns, you know. So we got to settle in this game. Hopefully we can get up. Uh, Get these guys a little farther in the game so foul trouble isn't such a big deal. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Tracy. All right, Tracy, when we spoke with John Becker yesterday, we asked him, what's been your message to the team? And I thought he put it in proper perspective. I told the guys, this is as good as it gets. You get to play a big program in a big city on a big stage. No one can ever tell you you never got your shot. You're getting your shot against Duke. And in front of Grand Hill, he <laughs> He did mention that. I edited that part out. But I've been impressed with the defense and paying attention to detail, particularly Filipowski. He's zoning up in the back now. Vermont has missed its last six shots. It's 16 fouls against Duke. This is a tough match if you elevate. Just go up. Iofalia, the fadeaway goes down. Nice little call for the bench, right? Well, identifying that mismatch, and you're right, just elevate, shoot over Roach. 26 18, Duke. They're going to have to guard this screen and roll action. It's giving Vermont trouble here in this first half. 
Bogues is back in for Vermont. Nice back screen to get Filipowski. He wanted it too. Mitchell having a catch with Roach. Now they involve Blakes. Feed it, kick it. Blakes misses on a three ball. And the rebound foul call. That's the seventh team foul now against the Blue Devils. And when you double team Filipowski, Blakes is who you want out there shooting. Smart to not rotate to him. His man double team. Blake's 29% from three, so. Gamble off somebody, right? Exactly. So that's number two on Jared McCain sending Shamir Bogues to the free throw line. Impact defender, the offense has developed. First team All-America East and the America East Newcomer of the Year. High energy, three years at Tarleton State. First free throws of the night for Vermont. Oh, is that Tarleton State? He is. Kentucky coach. Tyrese Proctor is in the game now for Duke. 26-18. And interesting, he has two fouls right now, but I think for shooting purposes, Shire bringing it back in, trusting his sophomore with two fouls in the first half. Roach using the screen. Mitchell swing for Proctor. Nice pass. Give it up. Mitchell missed it on the inside. Rebounded by Law. Really good play. Got to finish it, though. Deloney. Unlimited range for him. He's going to set it up in the post. I.O. Folia. Uh, same thing. He can elevate here. Lepowski, a little double. Better pass. Anticipation by Blakes. He's going to take it in for the layup. Throw that up like that. You are feeding his ability to open floor by Duke. Back to a 10-point lead for the Blue Devils under six minutes to go in this first half. Seth Jova in the game for Vermont. Freshman from Orchard Park, New York. Not shockingly, a huge Bills fan. Deloney gives it up. Iofolia. He pulled the string on it. And Filipowski again, and they call a foul. He stood him up big time. Proctor keeps the ball moving for Blakes. Now it's Filipowski way outside. Look for Roche to do some damage, I think. Now his time, get in the lane, find some people, and finish. Penetration, and it's Bogues who gets his hands in there. Tie up, possession arrow to Duke. And that's why Bogues is America East, all defensive team, averages almost two steals a game. But if you don't make a strong pass out of a double team, this is what happens. You got to be stronger with that. And certainly, Blake's. That's why he's in the game, playing good defense. Our AT&T connected camp. I've seen a bunch of it. Ooh, deflection, turnover. No ball fake either. Nice gamble, and they get it right Blake's. back. Blake's. Give it up. It's been a factor. He lost it. Popped up in the air. Out of bounds. Well, you got to give it up, though. Vermont <laughs> bouncing it. Off of Proctor. But he lost control of it. Great steal by Blakes. But that extra dribble cost him. He should have been up and bang a chest pass and a layup. And the play there, saving it, knocking it off Proctor there. So Jalen Blakes with the defensive play, but couldn't convert on the offensive side. Opening here for Vermont, down by 10. Swing, inside. Alamuto, nice gamble. Another Alamuto. anticipation, and Blake loses it again. He's got the foul at the end of it. Would no. have been one on two. Hey, just pick it up. Maybe they should have got the ball and worked with it like UConn did. That's a good thought. Three weeks, they, they were complaining about the stickiness of the ball. Two missed opportunities there with Blake's great steals, but leading to turnovers and fouls. Do you think it was the stickiness? I think it was too one? much air in the ball. <laughs> <laughs> Let's check those. It, it, by a quick insertion, two of my favorite people in coaching, Mike Krzyzewski oh, and Tom Brennan. Uh, Tom's not feeling that hot. He's healthy and good, but uh, Port named after him up in Vermont. Got his start at Seton Hall. Got smart with the rolling bass. I mean, became a great coach. <laughs> and, of course, Mike, his contribution, uh, despite some of the people he had to coach, uh, just extraordinary. So I miss him a great deal. And look at you kissing up to him, knowing that he's at home yesterday. Uh, I lost to him the number wow. of too. Text coming in three, two, <laughs> one. Raph, check your phone. Uh, he's the real deal. 28 18, Duke in front. Proctor lines it up. Oh. Off the heel, rebounded by Long. Get it ahead. Curly. And once again, Mitchell didn't come off the rebound, but he's much more active. Just two points in the last seven minutes for the Catamount. Nice pass. Inside, 
And Joba lays it in. And Raph, right now, Catamount's finding some rhythm, getting stops, first of all, defensively. And now that's carrying over to the offensive end. And part of it is the misuse of the fast breaks opportunity uh, for Duke. Vermont is number nine in the country in scoring defense, allowing 63 Ooh, points. Oh, he did everything right, but didn't finish it. Somebody thinks he does well. And it leads to a jumper. Curley cans it with a downtown Brooklyn hit. Here come the Catamounts. Five-point game with 3.42 to go. First half. Game summary pretty clean so far. Duke 9 of 18 from the field. They've made a bunch of free throws. Each team has turned it over six times. This sequence, he won for Vermont. Yeah, right now, Duke's offense in a little bit of a law right there. Great move, just could not finish there, Kyle Filipowski. And Vermont really not known for getting out in transition on the fast break, but poor transition defense, and T.J. Hurley knocks down his 35th three-pointer of the season. And how about the footwork for Filipowski? I think, but the finish, 28-23. Duke was hot. They've cooled off three of their last 11. Filipowski using the body, and a foul is called. That's going to be team foul number eight on Vermont. Coming up with two. AT&T at the half. Scores, highlights, all the latest NCAA tournament news. It's all coming up on AT&T at the half. Every time you think you've got this thing figured out, you get a surprise, you get a shocker, you get an upset every time year no that question never fails never fails yeah. always delivers Filipowski at the free throw line and with this portal I think it's more magical mm -hmm. Believe it or not. you know also part of it is when you're taking one team from one conference another team from another you have no idea how those two styles are going to jive or work and we see it time and time again one out of two for Filipowski 29-23, Duke just over three minutes to go in this first half. Pin down to a horn set, rush screen. They do run some nice action. Extended time here for Alamuto. Husky. Reach in and get a champion. Yeah. TJ Long still looking for his first points. It's 0-4. He's got to shoot it. Long. Shot clock winding down. Puts it up. And in. The toughest delivery of the night goes for TJ Long. Well, they talk about his clutch game winners. He comes up with a variety. Off balance has cut it to four. Right now, Vermont has Alamutu at 6-5 guarding Filipowski inside. Now they can ride this because they're gonna have to make adjustment. Did they double? And he can find some people. Willie Passer. Roach takes it in. It's blocked. On the inside by Joba, follow, no. Rebound grabbed by Alamuto. Vermont has settled down defensively, figured things, some things out. Are they gonna take it? If it shows, if not, pound it, use some clock, and get a good one. Right, some mismatches. Long, give it up. Bogues directing traffic. Kind of down to the two-minute mark of this first half. Bogues makes his move. Knifing to the rim for two. And still made it. <laughs> he had the eye on the rim, though. That's all that counted. Go to that left hand, big time finish. Wow. Quick. Slow it down and then put it into gear. Big time completion. Two Duke defenders there, still concentrating and finishing. But I like how he didn't settle. He attacked Filipowski, had the mismatch, took him off the bounce. Almost a three-point play opportunity. Missed it at the line. Two-point lead for Duke. This is a 9-1 catamount run. I think Duke's got to go back to that little short roll situation. Outside, Proctor. Feed it, Filipowski. They double, cross it. McCain got a three. And that, that creates a decision. You want to double? We can find some people to drill it. Six points for Jared McCain. Duke leads it 32-27, a minute 27 to play first half. Bogues draws the big Filipowski, 12 to shoot. And they're gonna go, and they got the switch now. Bogues, give it up, Joba put it down low, lost it, 
And it's taken away by McCain. Duke is running. Another good foul here. It's Alamuto from behind. He was trying to catch up in a foot race with McCain, and he picks up his second foul. The round had pretty good balance, too. Didn't necessarily have the foul. But I just love this opportunity here. If you don't cut here, which is wide open as well. Nice crowd there. Willing passer, Filipowski is. Team fouls are even at nine apiece. And McCain to the free throw line, 87%. That was, that was a smart play there by McCain in transition. Chris Corciani used to do that. To me all the time. Time. Yeah, I pick up fouls all the time on me. I used to be so frustrated by that. I feel like you have some PTSD with Corciani. <laughs> Let's go way back. You had a facial expression when you said it. Corciani. Oh, man. Believe it or not, I actually played against his father, he, the Wildwood Catholic. And did he do school. the same thing? No. <laughs> I don't remember the father that well. He only did that to good players. Oh. Couple of free throws there for McCain. Duke is now 11 of 16 at the line. Vermont is 0 of 3. 34 27 Blue Devils a minute 10 to go first half. You know winning breeds confidence and this Vermont team has that They've been down the road. They have won 20 or more games in 15 consecutive seasons consistency as a program no major down years during that time. Deloney gives it up. The, drop, the banker no for Hurley and it's rebounded by Proctor. They go two for one here. Roach using the Filipowski screen. Continues, floats it up. No, Filipowski offensive rebound. They can get that anytime they want. Nice kick out. Proctor misses on a three ball, rebounded by Alamuto. Great block out there by Bogues on Filipowski. There's a five second difference. Shot clock, the game clock, we're winding down in this first half. Deloney has scored nine on four of seven from the field. They've had success by getting Filipowski's man in screen and roll in attacking. Great switch there by Blakes. So it's Deloney against Blakes. Shot clock at three, shot clock at two. Now Filipowski, Deloney. Oh, no! Oh, yes! Unbelievable. Got to shoot it. The scoop shot goes down. Like George Gervin right there. Finger roll from the free throw line. How pretty was that? Oh, talk about confidence. Goodness. Aaron Deloney, 11 points. He cuts into the Duke lead just before time expires. Amazing. Yeah. All right, send it over to Tracy. Coach, just when you make a run, they make a run. How do you withstand that? What will be the message to the team at halftime? Well, look, it's not to overreact to tough shots. I mean, they, they throw it in two at the end of a shot clock. You have a hand in their face. You got to stay the course, and you can't let that or let missed shots affect how you guard. We got to keep guarding. thought overall we did a good job. You know, scored 29 points, a couple tough shots. We just have to refocus and regroup here for the start of the second. Thanks a lot. All right, thanks, Tracy. All right, Tracy, end of the first half here in Brooklyn, Aaron Deloney goes to the circus. Duke leads Vermont 34 to 29. We'll send you to AT&T at the half after these messages. We are ready for second half action. Look at our Ritz first half stats. Duke leading at 34 to 29. Vermont shoots it at 48 percent, but Duke gets to the free throw line with 16 attempts. And the Catamounts turned it over seven times in that first half. Ian Eagle, Grant Hill, Bill Raftery, Tracy Wolfson. There were some moments there for Duke where they looked like a team that could maybe do some damage here in March, but they also gave Vermont a lot of belief right now. Hey, I mean, John Becker thought that they were down five to start the game at halftime. He'd feel great right. in the position they're in. There's no stat for confidence, but they need some confidence. They need a good start. I think this is a, a team that excels, controls Temple Vermont, gets good shots, makes threes. He's got to ride the hot hand. I think the other the other side, it's Mitchell. I agree, but Aaron Deloney, he has been spectacular. Confidence, he's a sniper. And he has his team sitting in good position right now, guys. So the prior three seasons when Vermont trailed at the half, they were three and 16. This season, they were 10 and four when trailing at the half. Obviously, 
now going against an ACC power. Send it over to Tracy. Well, I had a chance to speak with John Becker, but before he came out of the locker room, it was a confident Vermont team just screaming, no mercy, no mercy. Aaron Deloney, he gathered up his team. He said, 20 more minutes, give it all you can. And then Becker told me they really feel like they found something at the end of the half. They settled in defensively. They stopped fouling. They've done a good job, they feel, on Filipowski. And he said they need to convert their free throws. They don't get to the line often, but when they do, they have to make them. All right, Tracy, the jumper from Long doesn't go, and it's rebounded by Duke. And for Duke, Filipowski, he's your All-American. He's had three points this half, has not scored a field goal. He needs to numbers. step up. Get it inside, Filipowski. Oh, it's oh. Mitchell with a two-handed punch. That play, he drew two towards him. And if you're mind, you're thinking of Taylor Coppin around T.J. Sorrentillon against Syracuse. I hate to bring <laughs> that okay. up. Not a That's problem. That's what you got to think about. Not a problem. It's all in the spirit of competition. 36-29 <laughs> Duke. Nice back door. Oh. And a finish by Bogues. How about the Lodi? No baloney on that delivery. I was wondering who would say it first. And it was you, Bill. <laughs> Oscar Meyer is not enough. Did not you enough. really wonder? No, I didn't wonder. <laughs> you could put baloney on Wonder Bread. That's the only question. Nice hesitation. Proctor on a kick. Filipowski. He got bumped on the outside, and it's Iofolia with the foul. I love him when he drives Filipowski. Right here, a little brush screen sets it up. Nice find. Missed out that back. Pretty. Oh, miscommunication. I thought Roach thought they were going to switch, and so a little confusion defensively to start the game. And Vermont was able to capitalize. Filipowski has one field goal attempt. He is 0 for 1. Iofalia to the bench after picking up his third foul. A little flex screen down below. A jumper doesn't go for Proctor. And Vermont's going to take over. Early's important, I think. I agree. Good Duke. They'll struggle a little bit coming towards the end of the season. Build that definite positive attitude. A lot of minutes for Sam Alamuto. John Becker has trusted him to deal with bigger players on the defensive end. You mentioned the size. He is a strong looking kid. Here's Bokes. Going to that left. Nice and strip to the ball. It's Roach. Get it ahead for Mitchell. Mitchell just bounced it off his foot, but it also bounced off of Deloney out of bounds. Now, Filipowski very outspoken, too, when he doesn't get the ball. The best Duke has looked here tonight is when Mitchell is rolling to the rim and slamming it time and time again. That's worked. That short roll. They got away from it. Yep. And that first half was symbolic of Duke, I think, this season. A little up and down, inconsistent at times. Roach give it up. It bounces off the hands of Mitchell. Retrieved by Roach. Ten to shoot. Two minutes gone by in this second half. Cross. Roach trying to split defenders, and he coughs it up. Break opportunity. Deloney. He gets picked up by Mitchell, multi-dimensional defender. And now they'll switch out front with Filipowski. Nice cross. Deloney using the speed. Draws the defenders. Bogues on a kick. Deloney lets it fly off the rim. Rebound. Snagged by Alamuto. That's why he's in there. Alamuto plays bigger than he is. Inside, the bounce, the kick. Ball is moving. Bogues can't hit the three, and it's rebounded by McKay. Not his strength entirely, just made a few. Nine, I think, is the number. And, and Vermont didn't score, but wow, this team playing hard, extra hustle there. And I like the move to go to Alamuto coming out at half. Duke has turned it over seven times. Vermont has scored no points off of those turnovers. A late double kick. McCain, Remy out. Filipowski keeps it alive, but it's tracked down by Bogues. Good luck. It's a five-point game. Just over three minutes gone by in the second half. Bogue switch has Roach. He's good backing down smaller defenders. Oh, he's slippery. Smart. Couldn't finish it. Filipowski hits the deck, coughs it up, and it's scooped up by Deloney. Extended possession here for Vermont. Long puts it on the deck, gets it up. Layup goes, and the foul, Jamir. With a chance at an old school three point play. Oh, and Long can drive it as well. Talking about his ability to make deep shots, but what a find. Freeze that D a little bit, a little slip pass. Hesitation kiss. 
number two on Filipowski. He bought the fake on the initial drive, and that put him out of position. And I'll tell you what, give this team credit. They believe, and they are playing with so much confidence. And as John Becker said at half, it's crazy. They, they figured something out yeah. here, and it has carried over. 36-34, Duke from the ACC against Vermont from the American East. Hoax gets a blow here, Hurley on the floor. That is the first free throw made by Vermont tonight. Duke fans on their feet trying to urge on this Blue Devil squad that has been so up and down. Filipowski's got a mismatch, mismatch, roll this pass. Mitchell couldn't finish, but a foul. I'll tell you what, Alamuto plays bigger than 6'5". He sure does. Not only is he battling Filipowski, but man, what a, what a shot attempt there blocking that. CBS Wednesday, Survivor is back. It's a supersized season with the most surprising, unexpected, unorthodox cast yet. Don't miss a new Survivor Wednesday, 8, 7 Central, all new, all spring on CBS and streaming on Paramount Plus. Duke trying to survive here against Vermont. And Mitchell at the free throw line. Alamuto has picked up his third foul. And they got to make it a physical game, the four or five man at Duke. And a little power game, jam it in there. I don't think they can test either one of them. Alamuto has three fouls. I think you keep him in there. He has made an impact on the interior at 6'5", 215. Yeah, he's not going anywhere. He's camped out on the edge of the lane, awaiting this free throw from Mark Mitchell. And he missed him up. There's something developing here for the Catamounts. You could see it at the tail end of the first half and the carryover into the second half. Deloney, swing. Curley made a three in the first half. Switch, Filipowski, 10 to shoot. Boy, he keeps active, doesn't he, this kid? Deloney, kick, jumper, doesn't go. Fiorillo had a chance to put Vermont in front. Lamuto, <laughs> I'll tell you what, he is a competitive kid at that size. He's got Filipowski. Give it up. Lachey's got him. Their best shooter, great, just sort of two-man play there between Roach and McCain. Makes the most three-point shots, and he can get hot. He's had some big games this season for the Blue Devils. And he's got 11 points to lead Duke. Alamutu, watch him on the offensive glass with Roach. Now they switch back. Crafty, T.J. Long is fouled. Free throws coming up for Long. Grab this play right here was by Jeremy Roach. Driving, creating that opportunity. McCain getting involved, feeling good. We got a ball game here in Brooklyn. Duke up five. Vermont down by five. Right now, let's take a look and listen back to Vermont's historic 2005 NCAA tournament win against Syracuse in It Takes More, presented by Powerade. The dulcet tones of one Gus Johnson, the first NCAA tournament win for the Catamounts. T.J. Sorrentin, deep three in overtime, helped give 13 seed Vermont a 60 to 57 win over the Orange. And Raph, did you notice some disdain when he threw to that little segment there? <laughs> no, I'm just detected in his yeah, voice a little bit. Water and T.B. Regali, what a great moment for him in his coaching career, because he's like the mayor of Vermont. He's a radio personality. Yes. Which is where you started, right? Yes. He was Corman, yes. the coach. A great talent, did a great job, loves that town, that city, and that university. Tom is a legend, and obviously the job that John Becker has done, now the all time winningest coach in Vermont basketball history. 39 35. Duke, they open six of seven from the field. Blue Devils are six of their last 20. Double team, Filipowski, kick, find, Proctor. Yes! A nice find. They're taking advantage. Got to make a decision. And I like that. He didn't wait for the double team. He went quickly, attacked it, and found the open Proctor in the opposite corner. Eight points for the sophomore Tyrese Proctor. 42 35. Duke. Take the left away. Outside, Hurley. Screen switch, Fiorillo, he's got the larger Stewart. Is that a bounce? On the sideline, and that is a turnover for Alamuto. That's the ninth turnover of the night 
for Vermont. They come in averaging nine per game. And I like that he was going to try to attack Filipowski off the bounce, but you got to know where you are on the court. It looked like he was over the line. I don't know if he touched it, right? <laughs> Duke leads by seven. Same play. McCain. And that's kicked into the James Madison area section. of James Madison family you, section. You can't say cheap seats anymore. No, no. no. I don't know if there is a cheap seat in I, here. I know you haven't gone for any, but for <laughs> those of us that have stepped up. How do I pick up shrapnel from that play? <laughs> exactly. Seven point lead for the Blue Devils. Roach they just rolls inside, fighting Filipowski. Nice look. High low. Oh. Filipowski couldn't catch it, swing it. McCain, kick. Proctor, rimming, no. Flying in for the rebound. It's knocked out of bounds. Oh, and who touched it. it last? Was it Hurley? It looked like it was off Vermont there, and they yeah. switched it, yes. I'll tell you what, Bogues is fighting Whoa. inside, not giving an inch on Filipowski. Mm. I still think you got to go to him, though. Cause some chaos, indecision, and get some step in jumpers. The closeout's going to give them some drives now if they continue that. Filipowski has three points all at the line. He has one field goal attempt. And a lot of that's because they're double teaming him every time he touches it. First team all ACC now on the bench for Duke and it's Ryan Young one of the captains of this squad into the game for the Blue Devils. I think Jeremy Roach only four points he needs to get going too important too experienced to only have four at this juncture of the game. Roach against Hurley lined it up. Off the heel another rebound there for Alamuto. He has really made his presence felt. He's enjoying it out here. Shamir Bogues. No relation to Muggsy for anybody that's curious about it. Better pass. They had something. Oh, bodies flying out of bounds. And last touch by Duke. A good effort by Young, though. Bottled that play up entirely. And how important is this? So Vermont will retain it with 13 to shoot, trailing by seven. Back in 2012, Vermont beat Lamar in the first four. But then that was it. Uh, turnover, Alamuto. Doing something you can't do. Trying to do too much. Ten turnover, that is above their season average. McCain lines it up. What a rebound. An undercut, too. Stewart. And it's out of bounds. Yeah, complete coverage of the NCAA Division I Women's Tournament on NCAA.com. You know, over the years, you always got stops at Duke. Couldn't string them together. That's what they got to do. Be as aggressive on that end. And maybe that will turn the tide for the style of play a little bit. I agree. Good defense will lead to good offense. We saw that early in the game. They were getting stops, and that momentum was carrying over. I like this lineup in a way now. A lot of speed, a lot of power with Mitchell on the floor with Stewart. Aaron Deloney back in. Fifth year with the program. This lineup wrap, they can switch pretty much everything on the perimeter. Ten to shoot. Attack mode for Bogues. Redirects. Diagonal long. Drive British. For Shamir Bogues. Reggie Lewis. Most outstanding player in the playoffs, and why not? 11 points for Bogues. It's a five-point game. We approach 12 minutes to go in regulation. Got to contain the bounce. Too easy at the other end. Fend off by Proctor. Proctor makes his move. Couldn't finish it. Knocked out of bounds. Off on Vermont. They'll have eight seconds to work with on the shot clock after the timeout. How about this little find? Two guys trying to block big time feed him, sir. Time now for Thrilling Drives presented by Nissan. And a lot of this action took place early in the game, and I just loved it. Empty side of the dive. And the finish that Mitchell just taken over early. They need more of that from him and get him involved a little bit. And they got the big lineup going now, maybe that high-low set when they 
Short roll and get him a little dump down. But they got all that in movement. And at times this season, the offense can get a little stagnant, which plays to the hands of a good defensive team like Vermont. Five field goals, all five on dunks. Trigger in for McCain. McCain, the drive, contact. And they, 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 they're indecise here. Indecise. So a foul is called on the drive by McCain. He's looking around. Wait a second. Is that offensive? It is. I'll tell you what, he never got in position, I don't think, unless they're calling the arm extended, but I didn't see much of that. I thought the arm did extend on that play, but it looked like none of the officials wanted to make that call, that long pause there when they blew the whistle. But that, it's coordinated, though. You didn't want two guys making a different call. So the third foul on McCain turns it over to Vermont. Fiorillo whips a pass to Deloney. He's got the big Filipowski. Screen, long, eight to shoot. Doesn't stick with these kids. Deloney, gotta go. Small against big, big wins. Settle. McCain a blast ahead. Vermont is 0 of 5 on three pointers in the second half. Duke has now gone three minutes and change without a point. Now you know what you can get here now. They got to make a decision. So a dive or a cut or a fine. Filipowski nearly lost it. Gets it back for Proctor. Six to shoot. Proctor drives. Spin. Shot clock winding down. Can McCain make it happen? Yes, he can! How about that, brother? Old time religion. Like baby hook. Like you wrapped it. <laughs> Sal. Let's get the LaSalle highlights on television. The pants had to be a little shorter, though. <laughs> the Huggers, 44-37, Duke. Fiorillo hands it off for Deloney. They get long involved, and he misses on a three ball. Filipowski with a tough rebound. And they got away with it, too, went under on that. He can drill them. Approaching the midway point of the second half, Duke 44. Vermont 37. This is the 4-13 matchup in the South region. You like this here, the screen and roll I do, with Mitchell. I do. Roach getting up, and Mitchell finishes on the interior. Every time, ride it. Either that or dump it down to the big, see what they do on the double and find somebody. 15 points now for Mitchell. He leads all scores. And a timeout call by the Catamounts. Duke extending the lead. 59 to play in Brooklyn. Well, you've heard about attacking the paint. Jared McCain likes to paint his fingernails, likes to express himself, was asked about it. Just a way to be creative. And right now, Duke will take any creativity they can get to try to get this victory over Vermont. You can only sneak a Manny Petty in the <laughs> game. Well, we do have an off day if you want to do it as a group. <laughs> Bogues to the corner, and that is an air ball thrown up by Io Folia, who just checked back into the game. Looked like he might be checking out of the game after that ill-advised three-point shot. Alamuto is now at the scorer's table, and he's joined there by T.J. Hurley. They're talking about riding the same play. They're trying it. Why not? Trying to bring this lead to double figures. Run to the draw drive, and he guides it in. He's the one guy I think that can be really aggressive off the bounce and take and find if necessary. Aggressive Bogues gets cut off there by McCain. This is the largest lead of the night for Duke. Yeah, nice job taking away the left. The nice shot. counter and the deuce from Shamir Bogues. This is such a unique player. Yes. Man, so effective there. High school, he played soccer, he ran track, cross country. You could see all those skills yeah. on display. Working his way towards the rim, Roach is fouled. Watch whip around coverage of all men's games on your computer, phone, tablet, streaming device with Fast Break. Presented by Nissan in the March Madness Live app. Download it now. McCain had those three fouls too, backed off on that drive. Deloney picks up his second personal. Roach is an 86% shooter. Numbers up a little bit this year in his senior season. Over 1,000 career points. A captain for two years. Deloney's going to sit. He's joined by Iofolia. 
And now it's Alamuto back into the game with Hurley. You know, Raph, I like that last possession for Vermont. I think he go back to Shamir Bowles. Let him get a little isolation back down. Although the adjustment now, they are Mitchell guarding him. Renegar, more height. I think for that reason, too. I think it is a switch on him. Go back to him. They move it to Hurley. 15 to shoot. Back out, Alamuto. Fake the handoff. Eight to shoot. Now he draws Mitchell. Bowes crosses, jabs, jumper. He missed it. Too strong. Proctor shovels McCain. In and out. And the rebound snagged by Long. Not bad, really. Open look for him. And he shoots a lot of yeah. those in transition. Vermont is 0 of 7 from three-point territory in the second half. No inside punch. It's all dribble drive. They need offense. Nice Long pass. bounces. And Bogues has position on the inside. Oh, once again, oh. McCain didn't want to touch him with three fouls. You've got to go at him. 50 to 41, Duke under eight minutes to go. 15 points for Bogues. That leads the Catamounts. Roach off the stutter. Doesn't get the roll. Rebound. Battling. Roach got his hands on it. Controlled by Bones. Gets around Filipowski. Trying to do the same with McCain. Bogues. Got it! A three! But Perillo with the patience to give it up, too. Nothing silly. He'll slap back knockdown. First Catamounts three and a half, and Duke's going to take a timeout. The lead is down to six. Shamir Bogues leading the way for Vermont, thinking about the upset. Our game summary, the Duke lead has shrunk to six, thanks in a large part to the play of Shamir Bogues, who is now in takeover mode. And there's not much of an inside game we've talked about. But look at this replace, though. Well, a little dribble drive, bounce, flatten out that D. Big time lefty stroke. Boy, they are efficient and take advantage. And what we see in this tournament is if you give a team belief like Oakland, like Yale, they will take advantage. And that's what's happening right now with Vermont. There is a belief here. Well, the belief started in that first half. And uh, they, the way they finished that first half, they've come out. And obviously, they're just hanging around. This is a resilient, tough-minded group. I believe starts with championships. They've had three in a row, right? Filipowski, they crowd him. Shot clock down to 10. McCain, the handles, the spin, short. And the rebound, battle for it, and a foul call against Vermont. We're going to check in with Tracy. You guys were talking about Shamir Bogues and the way he's taken over down the stretch here, but let's talk about his toughness. Every time out, he's been coming to the bench, getting treatment for cramps on that calf on the lower right leg during every time out. He is just the epitome of toughness, the athleticism, and just trying to play through it for his team right now. Jump oh, good! Tyrese Proctor with a deep shot. And Bogues has done some good things there. He got lost under Filipowski. Big time drill. 53 44 Duke, six and a half to go. Alamuto one on one with Filipowski. They're trying to free up long. Nice switch here, Filipowski. Seven to shoot. Alamuto cut off by Mitchell. Shot clock winding down. Good defense. Cross rises up. Off the rim, rebound. Duke's got it, controlled by McCain into the hands of Proctor. I'll tell you what, Filipowski at seven feet, getting out there, switching, doing a good job sliding his feet on the perimeter. He got his hands on that, too. He's not in the first half as well. He's got one of the strangest line scores, though. 0 of 1, Filipowski, 12 rebounds, and a presence defensively with three blocks. Feed it on this guy here. And there's going to be a foul called. Alamuto was trying to use the body. And he picks up his fourth. Choose perfection. Choose L-E, L-G, OLED, TiVo. Choose it. Alamuto averages 15 minutes a game. He's coming out. I think he's exhausted getting banged around by these bigs in the 20s right now. 
Iofolia back in, and now Alamuto will take a seat with those four fouls. Duke back in front by nine. Iofolia's got that foul problem two with three. Little flex screen. Oh, not a good pass. Steal. He bounced it to Bogues. Bogues oh, got away with that cross court. Risky. Long. Oh, oh, off the rim, and Roach goes up high for the rebound. The door has been open here for Vermont, but they have not taken advantage. Nine Duke turnovers, still no points for the Catamounts off of those Duke mistakes. Roach. He's out. He's an aggressive player. Everything was on the left, anticipating a double stagger. Good read. First foul called on TJ Hurley. That is six team fouls against Vermont, three against Duke. And a veteran like Roach, knowing that now you're in the bonus, he's going to go. Be more aggressive here down the stretch. Need a timeout. Proctor could not lob it into Filipowski. These two teams will huddle up with 5.03 to play in Brooklyn. Now, this is a kind of a grind game that could help Duke if they get by this. Just mentally uh, refresh them. Believe in themselves. I agree. It's almost been two weeks since they've last won. Sometimes you forget how to win. Mm. I'll tell you, this Vermont team is not going scrappy. anywhere. They are scrappy oh. indeed. Vermont rotting a 10 game winning streak. So I'm saying the drive. Jeremy Roach gets to the rack and the foul. I love this kid, though. He does not mind the moment. Going right with some speed, just a slight bump hangs up as Filipowski gives him the bump, but he is determined to put this team on his shoulder. Big time finish and a chance for three. The foul on Fiorillo, that's number four. Lead back to 11. It's been impressive with Roach. He hasn't really been engaged and involved most of the game here, but last few possessions starting to get it going now, being more assertive and aggressive when his team needs it. He converts. Duke is now 14 of 21 at the free throw line. Vermont is 2 of 6. Got to pick up the pace offensively. I think a little bit from a nice screen to get the Deloney. Boy, did they pick it up. Just a little bump. Quickness to the ball. Talk about a quick hitter right there. Oh, wow. 14 for the fifth year senior, Aaron Deloney. 56-47 Duke, 4.25 to play. Nice, nice double here. Got to recover, though. They chase him. The Roach. Hey, Roach. Oh, and he missed on the scoop. Mitchell grabs the rebound. And Duke can back it out. Roach had a <laughs> wide open opportunity. He's got a burst right there. McCain off the double team. Proctor, six to shoot. Proctor, shake, bake, pocket. Oh, goodness, a dance and a drill. 13 for Tyrese Proctor. The lead is 11. We got to drive up. Four minutes to go. Oh, 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 oh. It's blocked. Rejected by Filipowski, his fourth. Roach, kick, Proctor. Off the rim. Offensive rebound, Mitchell. Another reload for Duke. John Shire tells his team. Slow it down. And of course, I don't think Roche had to be told what to do. This kid knows the game. Roche. Oh. Settled. Yeah, he did well clockwise, too. He's hit. First round action. NCAA tournament putting it all on the line. One team will move on. One team will go home. We'll come back after this. Right now, let's take a look at the game's finest moment presented by Axe. Talk about a throwback right there. Great defense, but Jared McCain goes to the running sky hook with a kiss. I Bob Hungrich from Washington. You, you never heard of him. Your dad did. He was one of the original hookshot guys. So the supporting cast tonight for Duke has stepped forward. Mitchell with 15, McCain with 13, Proctor 13, 
And they lead Vermont by 11. We're going to hit the three-minute mark of this second half. Feed the post. This kid is quick. Takes the bump, and that's number four. Okay. It will be on McCain. Deloney got popped on the perimeter. That's the fourth team foul against Duke. So Vermont will have it on the side. He does cut quickly, though. Get it in for Bogues. Fiorillo was not looking to shoot it. Deloney is. Short. Rebound on grab by McCain. Down to 245 remaining. Stepped up through D. One and done. Oh, read the trap. They got to reach him along. A double team from TJ Long, and he gets collared with a foul. A smart area to trap right there, in the, right over the, on the half court there, but mm. reaching in by TJ Long. That call for a foul right there, but right idea. Jerry McCain turned his back. Might be strong with the basketball. Got those two lines to help you as defenders. McCain, outstanding free throw shooter, 87%. The lead is back to 12, so they have kept Vermont at arm's length. Every time you thought maybe Vermont could make a true move, Duke made a big basket late in the shot clock or came up with a stop. And the lead is now 13. Uh, to your point, I like their defense the last 10 minutes. Yeah, Duke's defense has been fantastic. Only 18 points they've given up to Vermont here in this second half. So offense at times has been inconsistent, but the defense stepped up. The slip by Bogues. The handoff to Long. We're down to 222 remaining. Taking away threes. And again, nice hands. McCain in the middle. Oh. Out of bounds. Fiorillo. Oh, yeah. And Raft, when you switch everything on defense, it forces you to go isolation one-on-one -on -one and not really trust your offense to create a scoring opportunity, but trust your ability to score going one-on-one. -on -one. And Vermont has struggled with that here yeah. in the second half. And it's been uncharacteristic. 11 turnovers for Vermont. Duke has committed nine. They average 9.7 per game. This kid is tough. He's not backing off. <laughs> Show me your stuff, he's saying. Alamuto picks up the foul, and that is it for him. CBS Sunday, catch a new episode of the most watched show in the country starring Justin Hartley, Tracker, at a special time. New Sunday after 60 minutes, all new, all spring on CBS and streaming on Paramount+. Plus. Alamuto gave them quality minutes in his sophomore season. Certainly some big games in his future. John Becker will keep this program rolling. His team was 9 and 5 and then went 19 and 1 the rest of the way. I'll tell you, that young man can guard just about anybody on the court. And likes it. You can see uh, yes. he likes the challenge. Takes pride. Another free throw here for Roach. Steadying, calming influence when they needed. A couple of big possessions where he just took over. Just a great feel and understanding what to do, when to do it. The speed of the game, I think, Duke has got to pick up just a little bit. Get some easier baskets. I agree. Sometimes. I'm not talking now, but I'm talking as they progress here. Flip. No, chip. No, follow. Rejected by Mitchell. Iowa Folia. Had a couple of cracks at it, so did Deloney. Get it ahead for Roach, we're down to a minute 42 left. Duke in complete control now against Vermont. Got a scare, but answered the bell. But they're gonna trap here. One-on-one, no. -on -one, Proctor, shot clock at four. Drives, oh. couldn't finish it off the window. Deloney, lead feed, caught. Oh. Oh. TJ Long, man. Oh, boy. That's all landed awkwardly. With a minute 18 on the clock, Eugene Santos, the athletic trainer, rushes over to check on Long Island native TJ Long. Back in Brooklyn with assistance. TJ Long is being helped to the locker room. He can put no pressure on that right leg. You just think about all of the time spent, practices, games around the team the amount that is required 
over the course of a basketball season and the commitment level and for T.J. Long coming back home playing in the NCAA tournament. Final minute and change. A really nice pressure release there that they ran to get it inbounded. Roach defended by Deloney. Oops, not necessarily. Little body bump. Stops the clock with 105 and two free throws. Double bonus now for Duke. A little chippy out there. Yeah. They compete. They do. It's admirable. I actually like that. Yeah. They brought a great physicality to this game. Vermont not backing down, competing defensively, and causing some problems throughout this game for the Blue Devils. No. Vermont 1 and 8 all time in the first round. Six straight losses for the Catamounts in the first round of the NCAA tournament. John Becker, 12 years at the helm. Brenton Mills checks in. You know, regrettably, Vermont's maybe helped Duke find themselves a little bit. You got to guard. Got to be unselfish. You got to play. Yeah, got to play hard. Good test in the first round. Of Somehow get some easy baskets, speed yeah. it up. Run some good action. Jackson Skipper is going to come into the game and a lot of love for Aaron Deloney, the end of an outstanding collegiate career. Five years. Talk about that leap of faith from Portland, Oregon to go to Vermont and it just fit. And, I, and he won all four years that he was in Vermont and the heart and soul and leader of this ball club. John was saying they, they get calls from all over the country now because of their success. Final 45 seconds. Shot clock is winding down. Jumper off the mark as Proctor controls it. They're going to put some subs in and keep playing, I believe. Yep. Yep. Good guys, a shot that down the road, maybe I got that opportunity, right? A chance to play in the NCAA tournament. Some of those guys. But give due credit. A, a really good second half when they were pushed, they were tested. Came through. Great execution on both ends. Spencer Hubbard in, a 5'8, 157-pound senior from LA. Harvard Wesley. Great academic school. And young football call fake. And he's fouled with he's 16 clever. seconds left. He may have three degrees by the time he's finished, right? <laughs> Business major at Duke. Ryan Young played big last year. I thought he was Derek Lively was out, really contributed, has been really good for this team, helped them win against Baylor down the street at the garden earlier this year in December. And Obviously, the dis disappointment of the tournament, this team, and what they've done, and knowing that this season has come to an end. All that hard work and yeah, it's culminates with a heartbreaking exit in the NCAA. Final seconds. Last chance. Off the mark for Reno, and that's it. Duke gets it done. The Blue Devils streak continues. Eight straight first round wins. They defeat Vermont 64 to 47. And now it's on to the second round in the South. They're going to meet the winner of Wisconsin, James Madison, which is coming up in the 5 12 matchup here in Brooklyn. Question marks surrounding Duke after the loss to North Carolina. Regular season finale, the loss to NC State in the ACC tournament. But Duke handles themselves, even though their leading scorer, Filipowski, only had three points. Just one field goal attempt. But others help get the job done. We send it over to Tracy Wilson. Well, thanks a lot, Coach. You told us yesterday it's been a while since you have felt a, a winning feeling after a game. But do you feel like your team found something out here tonight? You know, I'm really proud of them. You know, they just, uh, you know, we've been through a lot this season. 
And we're going to score group for the last two years. You add in these freshmen who have been terrific. Uh, but to bounce back off of not finishing the regular season the way you wanted, you know, Vermont's tough. They came out ready to play. And I thought we showed a lot of heart, a lot of guts, and I'm really proud of the team. They had some momentum going into the half, your team. Talk about the defense that you played with down the stretch here. Well, you know, I just told the team at half, it's a fight. Like, they're, they're going to make a run. They're going to hit shots at some point. They had 29 points at half. I thought they hit three tough shots, and uh, we just stuck with it and hung in there. I thought Flip was terrific, even though, what, he had three points or something yep. like that? I thought he was great, though, the way he shared in, the way he passed it, and competed. Well, congrats. We'll see you on Sunday. Sounds great. Thank you, Tracy. Yes, we will. John Shire and the Duke Blue Devils advance in the South Region. Tournament games continue right now live on TNT, TBS, True TV. Coming up here on CBS, James Madison and Wisconsin. But first, I'm going to send you back to our studio, Capital One Tournament Central. That's right after these messages.